In this tutorial video, we're going to see how to use Grid Layout in Java. Now, the Grid Layout class lays out a container's components in a rectangular grid. The container is then divided into equal sized rectangles, and one component is placed in each rectangle. So, each component takes all the available space within its cell or rectangle. Each cell is exactly the same size, and components are added to the layout from left to right, top to bottom. So in order to use a, a grid layout, you first have to import the grid layout class from the AWT uh, framework or package. And then in this example here, we have uh, a panel. Inside that panel, we are uh, setting the layout to grid layout. Three and two here determine the number of rows and columns of our grid. So in this case, we have three rows and two columns and then we're adding uh, buttons to our panel using the grid layout. <coughs> so uh, this would give us uh, this result. Obviously, uh, we've just added two buttons in this example here, but uh, obviously you would have to add five to get this result. And as you can see, um, each button is in its own uh, rectangle or cell. And as you can see, we have three uh, rows. So one, two, three and two columns, one and two. So that's the theory behind um, the grid layout. For more information, as you well know, you can go to the Oracle website uh, at this link uh, to arrive at the class grid layout uh, documentation page. Um, so in the next step, we're going to see uh, how to apply this uh, in Eclipse. In this step, we're going to see how to use uh, grid layout in Eclipse, and we're going to be keeping to our button example. Um, so as you can see, we start off by uh, importing the grid layout class from the AWT package. Then we have our button fields here, and then inside our constructor, we have, uh, we've created our grid layout, which is named uh, GL, so for grid layout. Um, in this grid layout, we have uh, three columns, oh, sorry, sorry, three rows and two columns. And then um, we're basically setting our layout to uh, the grid layout with this instruction here. And then we're adding our, uh, or should I say we're creating our buttons uh, with the numbers one to six on each button. And then we're adding those buttons to our login panel here. So uh, if we run the program, <coughs> as you'll see, we have our grid, which has um, three rows and two columns. Each grid, each rectangle or cell, whichever word you want to use, uh, is filled up with a button, with a component, in this case a, a button. Um, another neat trick I can teach you um, is to basically add, you can determine um, the gap uh, between uh, the rectangles horizontally and vertically. Um, so all you have to do is type the name of your grid layout dot set h for horizontal uh, gap and let's say five for example. And then um, let's do the same for the vertical gap. So gl dot set uh, v for vertical gap, and then again five. Uh, this is it. this is measured in pixels, by the way, just so you know. And then uh, that's fine. Again, we're setting the layout, so nothing to change here. Okay, let's run the program, and as you can see, we have a gap. Uh, horizontally and uh, vertically. So um, that's how you use grid layout in uh, Java.